Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Elizabeth and I've been on my personal development journey and I'm working on building insane wealth for myself and my family and for ultimately the world so we can give back. But I wanted to share some financial thoughts, some things that I've been thinking about, some mindset shifts and maybe some tools that could hopefully help you in becoming a better person, improving yourself, being a high achiever, being a high performer, being wealthy, being rich and building the life of your dreams. So with all of my hours and time researching healthy people, happy people, successful people, rich people, um, I've learned that money is a game. And so the first thing is money is a game, right? And so you have to start getting in the game. You have to start playing, right? And so we talk about being an investor, being an owner. Maybe you own a business. Maybe you own assets. Maybe you invest in stocks. Maybe you invest in real estate. Maybe you start your own company. Maybe you start a side hustle. Maybe you start content creation, but get in the game, right? And there's a way not only to get in the game, but there's a way to play the money game. And there's so much money out there. There's so many ways that you can get it. And so I talk about it on my channel and changing your mindset and some things that you can do and skills that you can learn and industries you can get into, but there's so much money out there. Go get it. And so learn the game of money. If you want a video on what the game of money is and how to master it, let me know in the comments below, but it's a game. Get in the game, start playing. Number two, I came across a video from Minority Mindset the other day, and he talked about what a gift it is to be in America. And so he talks about people's experiences when they come into the United States and that they are so the minority mindset and they're so driven and they're so grateful and they're willing to do anything because they see the opportunity. And I've talked about that before in videos where we have the opportunity and the freedom, freedom, that's America. And so not everybody has the opportunity. And so if you have an opportunity, like why not go for it? I know there's these perspective shifts and things that need to happen. And maybe you don't understand what a blessing it is to have the freedom and the choice and the opportunity, but it's so important to recognize that and to acknowledge that and to be, to say that life can be anything you want it to be in America. And so what are you going to make it? And so recognize that privilege and that opportunity and that potential and appreciate America, appreciate the, that good part of America and then go take advantage of it. And that is something that I'm trying to do. I have been so, so incredibly blessed with my parents, with my grandparents, with people, um, my husband, like just so many people in my life and that have supported me and the sacrifices my parents made and the amount of time and money and energy they've invested in me and my pa grandparents and things of that nature. I don't want to waste it. Right. And so I mean, I get it. We could go in this whole debate about you're perfect as you are and just show up and you don't have to do all this stuff to be worth it or to make it all the sacrifice worth it. But I'm like, I've been given so much. I want to take advantage of that and I want to grow and I want to learn and I want to then give back and do more so I can help other people and impact their lives so then they can go impact other people's lives. And it's a huge ripple effect, right? And so we are blessed and we are in such a great situation to even have the choice. And so what are you going to choose to do? And what are you going to make of yourself in your life? Number three, I wrote down balance or not. Nah. And so what I meant by this was we talk about balance and having this perfect harmony and just meditating and all this stuff. And there, these are tools, right? We want to have tools in our toolkit. And maybe you do need to go sleep. Maybe you need to go learn how to do some breathing exercises to calm down and have emotional regulation. That's great. But there's not always going to be balance, right? I'm a mom. I'm a stepmom. I have a regular job. I have this passion project that I want to work on in this community I'm trying to build. I have a beautiful husband. We have so many different things and buckets and health that I'm trying to stay healthy and feel strong. And so it's not always going to be balanced. And so I want to include my daily vitamins and make sure if I'm trying to be healthy, if I'm trying to have a good relationship, if I'm trying to build this business, if I'm trying to do good at my job, then I'm going to do certain things each day that fill that bucket. But there's going to be times where you're out of balance or you're working more with your kids. Like my stepson, he has basketball and he has some other things right now. So I'm going to be spending more time supporting him and being there for him. But the, And then my husband has soccer and we're going to be going to his games and watching him coach and stuff like that. But then there's going to be times where I just need to knock out content and I need to be creative and think and plan for the future. And there's times um, where I'm spending just a ton of extra time with my son and stuff like that that right but every day I want to nurture those buckets a little bit like you want to spend time with your family you want to spend time exercise you want to eat the right meals you want to do at least a little bit of content creation maybe you aren't ideating or maybe you aren't actually recording videos on that day but maybe you do a little bit of editing or maybe you respond to comments or whatever and so fill those buckets but get rid of the idea that everything is perfectly balanced um, that's not always how it's going to be you're constantly going to be feeding the buckets and putting a little bit in, but then sometimes you're going to be in your health bucket. Sometimes you're going to be in your family bucket and that is okay. 
Number four, I wrote, does compound pounding actually work? Does doing the thing over and over again actually work? And so we'll see. I've been posting to YouTube and people do say that it is about quantity and it is about practicing, but you do have to make things better. And so I need to figure out how to make things better, make the videos better. But typically compound pounding, for example, with exercise or with maybe investing, if you the power of compound interest. If you keep investing every single month, $500, $1,000, whatever you invest every single month for years and years and years, it's going to compound, compound, compound and shoot up and you're going to have millions of dollars, right? And your money is going to compound and to grow. And so it's the same idea that maybe if you are posting or things like that, eventually you're going to reach the right people and you're going to grow. Same thing with health. If you keep doing the right habits and you eat healthy and you exercise, you're going to lose the weight. You're going to feel vibrant. You're going to have energy. And so it's just a matter of doing things long enough. And so I will keep you posted on some of that. I do believe in that principle, but I do think sometimes there's other things you have to do as well. You can't just um, expect to have growth or something in certain areas without learning other things or like with YouTube learning SEO or making the videos better or things of that nature. Um, but I do believe in compound pounding and I am going to keep pounding. Number five, the method of kiss, keep it simple, silly. And so it's so important to keep things simple. And so in my life, that is what I do. I have learned to minimize, to maximize. And it's not about not doing enough and not going the extra mile, but it's like with minimalism and intentionalism, do you really need all this stuff all around you? Do you really need this huge 5,000 square foot house when you only have two of you living in it? Do you really need to have all these activities that you're doing and you're going here and there and here and there and here and there? Do you really need 20 different meals every week or do you just need a few dinners that you like or one good breakfast or whatever and this is going to vary from person to person and it is slightly to do with personality but for me the more I keep things simple the more I keep things streamlined the more I am basic the more I'm likely I'm able to feel happier the more likely I'm able to get stuff done and the more likely it is to work if your attention's everywhere if you're stressed all the time how are you going to have energy how are you going to have focus how are you going to get what you want done and so really identify those main things you want to get done keep it simple do the actions required for that area do the actions required for that area and that area and then move on you don't always have to reinvent the wheel you don't always have to make a new gourmet meal every night just a good meal is fine Number six, going along with this is minimize to maximize. And so the more you can reduce things, make things simpler, the better. And so even Charlie Munger talked about this, like, nope, too complicated, right? So we really want to make things simple, even with business or even with, like, say you have a product that you really think could change someone else's lives, someone else's life. You really want to make sure that it's so clear as to how, like, it's just, this is what it is. You can explain it in one sentence. You can explain it in less than a minute, whatever it is. So same thing with um, a clothe, a wardrobe system, right? Some people, the most successful people like Steve Jobs or Mark Zuckerberg, they have wear like the same thing every day. And so they, yes, they can wash their clothes, but they might have multiple options of it. And Matt Diavella talks about this. He's a YouTuber and he has a minimalist wardrobe and he has like 14 or I can't remember the exact number of the same shirt. And so he knows he likes how that shirt looks on him. He likes it. No big deal. Puts it on, has another one to put on the next day and he's good, right? There is something to be said about minimizing or making things smaller or easier to manage. Um, you make so many decisions every single day. You want to reduce how many decisions you, you have to think about so that you can focus on what matters. Number seven, don't just be different just because. And so be different if you really think it could add value to yourself. Be different if you think um, that it could really change your life. Be different if you really believe in that, right? And so as I've gotten older, I've started to question things like even like Santa Claus and why do we like tell our kids about Santa Claus or um, the education system, or even I am plant-based and vegan. And so like, I just question certain things. And does that mean that you have to? No, but typically I just want people to start thinking more critically. And that, I know that's helped me. And so I want to encourage myself to keep thinking critically and be open to changing your mind. If something maybe isn't working, like maybe I end up changing my mind on something, that's okay. But be willing to do something different. Don't just be different just because like, what are they doing? Okay, they're doing that. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm not like that. It's more, there's multiple ways to live. It's not just what your parents taught you or what you grew up with or what you've always done or what you've seen. The world of the internet has shown there's multiple ways to live. And I'm like, hey, actually that makes so much sense. Or what's the research on that? What do the articles say? What does the science say? What does the independent research say? Oh my gosh, 
actually, this makes a lot of sense. Actually, I feel really better eating this way or doing this thing. I'm going to do it. Okay, cool. Or, eh, I see their point on this, but I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. I really like this, whatever. Or, oh my gosh, you could retire early. Or, oh, there's a way to save ta- money on taxes legally. Or, oh, I could do this. Like, be open to ideas. Don't just do things just to be different, but be open to it because different can be beautiful. Number eight, we are all people and we all have potential. And so there is not all these special, unique things about anyone who is wealthy, successful, or who has achieved the dreams and the life that they want. They just learn certain mindset shifts. They've learned certain habits. They've connected with certain people and they have had a little bit of luck. And so it's important to say, hey, why not me? Why not me? Why can't I be that person? Hey, I really think it'd be so cool to teach online or to share different ideas online or connect and build a community. That's so cool that they did that. I wish I could. Why not? Go for it. Oh, I really wish that I could become this athlete or I could write a book or I could do this job or I could be an engineer, but I was told that girls can't be engineers or whatever. Like, go for it, right? Whatever that is, why not you believe that you can do it? If someone else has done it, there's a path for you too. Number nine, how can you learn more high income skills? And so how can you learn some of these skills? Maybe some of these things that you could teach yourself like patience and grit, but there's also some skills that are really highly valuable in the job market or that you could use to start your own business or side hustle or whatever. And so start looking into that. You do want to find something that might be more in line with your ikigai, your path passion, your purpose, your reason for being here and the way that you can serve the world. And when you intersect them all, you're going to feel really happy, right? You don't just want to have a lot of money because that's going to leave you not feeling very fulfilled. Yes, it's way better than just being poor and not being able to afford anything. And so do what you need to do. Everyone's on their own journey, but really, really look for this in your life. Number 10, exercise is incredible. And so sometimes you have to take action to really change your state and to feel better. And so exercise is so good. It's not just about how you look. It's about how you feel, right? And so it can prevent disease. It can prevent pain. It can help you to be able to do the activities you want to do and keep up with your kids and have energy to work on the projects that you want to work on and show up well and be kind. And so exercise, it's seriously so many benefits. I could do a whole video on that. I know this, that's not really what my channel talks a ton about, um, but it's so impactful. I highly recommend it. Number 11, what can you control? What is the main thing you can control? Yourself. So always go back to you. If you're having a hard time, if you're having a good time, if someone's annoying, if someone's great, whatever, it doesn't matter. What can you control? That is what you always want to work on. Block out everything else. What can you do to make your life better? What can you do to improve yourself? Control you always, and you're going to be so much better off. Number 12, learn the stuff and then do it. And so successful people, millionaires, wealthy people, they learn, they read, and they get educated. But then they figure out what's going to work in my life. Maybe I don't want to do what they did here, but I really liked their idea here. And oh my gosh, I wish I learned about this sooner. I'm going to go take action on this now. So learn about the things. Take the time to be exposed to new ideas and new opportunities and new potential that could change your life. But then actually take action. Number 13, patience discipline and consistency. So be patient. I have some videos on my channel about that, the power of being patient, being consistent. So doing your habits over time and then trusting that things will work out. So be patient, keep doing the hard work in those little daily habits and it will pay off in the end. Number 14, how can you make the process fun? How can you make life more fun? And so you want to enjoy your life, right? You don't just want a lot of money. You don't just want to achieve your goal, right? You want to enjoy it, enjoy the process of becoming and being who you want to be or creating what you're trying to create. And so how can you make it more fun? How can you connect with more people or spend time with the people that you enjoy or have different celebrations along the way or whatever it is? Or if you're working out, how can you make it more fun? Can you do a certain exercise class? Can you do your favorite type of workout? Can you listen to fun music? How can you make life more fun? This is a huge hack and a huge tip. And my husband is amazing at this and he just brings the energy. He brings the mindset and he makes life fun. Fun. Make life fun. It will truly do wonders for your life. Number 15, get to know yourself and get around really good people. Good people, smart people, people who want to build, people who want to do good things, people who are kind and want to serve. Those are the people you want to get around. That's who you want to become. Go for it and do it. And seriously, this will make a huge, huge difference. And lastly, set up your mind, your environment, and then go crush it. And so you have to work on your mind. And I'm going to be doing so many videos. I have a lot on my channel and talking about my own thought process and the things that I've worked through or that I've, uh, I am working through. But set up your environment too. Like, do you have a clean environment? Do you have an environment that is healthy? Do you have an environment that supports your goals? Do you have an environment that supports your family? Like, set up your environment is critical to success. It's not just about the people, but it is about the place.
All right, so those were some of my current thoughts right now, some things that I've learned, some things that I'm thinking about in my own life and I'm taking action on. I hope they could be helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if you liked videos like this or some of my thoughts and some of the things I'm currently thinking about. Let me know if you have any ideas or what you're working on. We're all learning, growing, and working hopefully together. And so I'd love to know what you're working on and what's helped you. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share with a friend, subscribe for more, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. You've got this, keep learning, working, and growing. Take action and I will see you soon. Bye guys.